Thank you. How excited are you to be named captain? I'm excited. I'm honored because I mean it's a big thing here. As a junior, you're absolutely junior, not a senior. Does that make it more special that you are a non-senior captain? Yeah, I mean that's. Special to me because I mean it's it's great that my teammates see me as somebody that can lead this team and represent this team in a good way. What are your thoughts on Justin being named starting quarterback? Uh, he he deserves it. He's he's been working hard, so I think he really deserves that. Coach Day talked about one of the things Justin needed to do was sort of gain the confidence of the team. How has he done that? Uh, he's just got to keep practicing hard and showing guys that he can lead the way for us and that we can trust him. I think he's doing a great job with that. He talked about uh, being pleased when he saw him kind of get in guys' faces, you know, correct people on the field, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. How important is that for the team to, to see him do that? Uh, it's, it's very important because he's the quarterback. You know, he he's supposed to lead the offense and the team. So I think guys seeing that helps a lot. Has he had to get in your face at all? Yet? Nah, nah, not me, not yet. <laughs> Hopefully, if I mess up, then he should. You know, so. Yeah. JK, when you came out on the first day of camp, you talked about you know that chip on your shoulder that you had. Mm -hmm. How has that fueled you during these practices? Because Coach Day just talked about the pads are down, you're really playing pretty well. He thinks. You know, how much? How impressed? Or, or how do you? Would you evaluate the way you played the last couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, like I, I do have a chip on my shoulder because, like I said, last time we talked, uh, I do feel like I need to prove to people that I am the best running back in the nation, yeah. and so. I'm just working to do that. You know, I'm taking it day by day. Are you able to get a feel for if you're on that track in the practice field? Do you have to get into a game to know? Uh, Does that make sense? You can kind of get a feel yeah. in practice, but I mean, it doesn't matter until you do it in a game. JK, you played with JT, played with Dwayne, now you're going to play with Justin. How talented is he? I mean, can this team do what it wants to do with Justin, and why do you feel? If that's the case. Uh, he's very talented, you know, so I think he has all the tools to take us to where we want to be, so we'll see. Now that he's the guy, there's probably there's the expectation that he'll run a little bit more, obviously, than Dwayne. Mm -hmm. That worked well for you two years ago to have a more mobile quarterback. Do you see that being advantageous <coughs> for you? Uh, We'll see. I, I, think, I think it'll help, but either way it goes, I need to run the ball good. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a wow moment with Justin, at any point where you just kind of went, wow, this guy's got whatever? Yeah, yeah, numerous times. So i just ready for the game to come now. Any stand out? <laughs> any you remember you can share? Nah. Hey, Jake, <laughs> your on-the-field journey has, by your own admission, been like two steps forward, one step back. How would you describe your journey from a leadership standpoint? Um, did it follow sort of a similar pattern for you? No, I think... Leadership has always been there. Uh, it didn't take a step back. I mean, if anything, it, it helped me out. Helped me out a lot to have a terrible year last year. So, I think that helped a lot. Now you're downgrading it to terrible. You know? <laughs> and it was just a failure before. Now it's. I kind of see a terrible and failure okay. as the same. Yeah, right, gotcha. I'm just checking. <laughs> Jake, but how the... did it help you? You said it, it helped you. How did it help you from a leadership standpoint? Would you be captain now if you hadn't? I'm going to use your word, had a terrible year last year. Uh, I feel ridiculous using that word, Jacob. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. But, I mean, I don't I don't know if that would have changed anything because I was still going to work hard. But I do feel like it helped me grow as a leader. You know, like I just had to learn more things and do better by myself. So I do think that helped. JK, that what have you been seeing out of the guys behind you? Big topic, just some of the – what have you been seeing? Who's been popping off the page? The guys uh, behind you at running back. Yeah, uh, I mean, Demario, he's, he's doing pretty good. And Marcus Crowley's doing pretty good. Pretty much everyone's doing good. I mean, Master Teague's been hurt, so we haven't been able to see him that much. But everyone else has been doing a, a great job, learning the offense, running hard, and practicing hard. What are the ways in, what are the ways in which you've seen Demario grow from last year to where he is now? Uh, I think he last year he was working more with the receivers. And so, I mean, he was doing more receiver things, and then this year he's working with the running back, so I think that's helping him out a lot. Did Mickey Marotti truly at one point tell you, you you need to be a guy who's, how would I phrase this, be more positive with your teammates, more encouraging, or? Well, I've always been encouraging, but he was 
me, I'm, I'm more of a type of guy that need that I want to just go, 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 like all the time. And some guys don't don't work that way. So you have to kind of like be more like uh, sit down with someone instead of just like on the go. So that's what he meant. But Coach Mick always always pushes me, and he's he's pushed me since I've been here. So. How do you think this offense will look this year? Do you feel like it's got what identity it might have? Uh, physical, and we're going to score a lot of points. I think so. JK, you're from a small town in the bend of a river down in the middle of Texas, uh -huh. uh, and now you're a captain at Ohio State. I mean, is it a little surreal to you the way things have gone these three years? I mean, the way you've established yourself? Uh, I mean, it's definitely, definitely different, you know, but. Um, I always told myself that I was going to keep working hard, doing things the right way, so, and, and it's benefited me. So God keeps blessing me in all kinds of ways. What is the responsibility of being a captain now? Obviously, people have been impressed by your work ethic this preseason, et cetera, but what, what's the responsibility that comes with being a captain? Uh, i got to represent the university well, and i got to represent the football team well. So I think th that's, what it, that's what it means to be a captain here. And it's a faster JK, correct? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Body fat is where? Eight. Eight? Yeah. And it was last year around? Around 12. Yeah. What would you test at, speaking of speed, what, give us an idea of what you tested at at the end of the spring or whatever. I don't know. Huh? You have Fast to go look, go look in the, you can see it on the wall in okay. there. Well, we don't always get to go in <laughs> And your 40 now would be? <laughs> <laughs> As you know, it's, it's fast. It's, it's fast. fast. Yeah. Fast enough. Yeah, that's pretty fast. What does it mean to you? I mean, if you turn on, you get on the internet and you turn on things, uh, you're being mentioned. You know what I mean? From a national standpoint, et cetera. How have you kept that in perspective? Uh, I don't really look at that because I saw a few things that had me ranked, like, pretty terribly. And I know my worth. And so I'm going to prove my worth this year. How much do you feel like a responsibility that – You've got to carry the offense this year. You've got to be the go-to guy when this team needs to make a big conversion. But you've got to be the guy to be able to go get that. Uh, I hope. I hope like that coach day turns to me if he needs a big play that he turns to me and I take full responsibility in that. And I think that me practicing hard will have me ready for that situation or event. What's going to be different about this offense with Justin Fields as a starting quarterback? You've been through three. This will be your third. <laughs> JT. Yeah. And last year was the, the flying circus with uh, Dwayne Askey Jr. <laughs> What's going to be different about this offense from your vantage point? I don't think anything will be too too much different, but we'll see. I think I think everything stays the same. It's yeah. the same play plays. You well, I know, know it's the same but... plays, but y'all featured obviously the passing game a hell of a lot more. 533 passes by Dwayne, you know, last yeah. year. I mean, I mean, I think it'll still be the same. I don't know. We'll see. Last question, anybody?